Canada added to its medal haul on day six of the Tokyo Games with two more women landing on the podium. The rowers captured bronze in the pair's final. With a time of six minutes, 52 seconds, Kaylee Filmer and Hillary Janssens finished third. The duo led for most of the race before New Zealand slowly overtook them in the back half and continued to a gold medal win. The Russians narrowly edged out Canada to take silver. The third place finish marks the first medal won by Canada in rowing during these games. Canada's women's eight will race for a gold on Friday. With me now is Scott Franzen, three-time Olympian and silver medalist at the 2008 Games in Beijing. He's also the head coach of the UC Berkeley's men's rowing team. Scott, good morning. So glad you could be with us. Yeah, thanks for having me. So what did you make of this bronze finish for Kaylee Filmer and Hillary Janssens? Yeah, I, I thought they raced really well, uh, and they raced in a very uh, typically Canadian way. Uh, they put themselves out there, raced really hard, and, and, and led the race for the, for the first thousand um, and, and gave themselves a chance to win. Uh, and, and, okay, they, they faded uh, and, and held on. They, they dug in in the end and held on for a medal. Uh, but, but I thought, you know, I, I was really impressed with their race. Is that what you mean by typically Canadian, the fact that they hung on? Uh, I mean, I guess both. I mean, you, you put yourself, you, you, uh, you prioritize that first 500 or first 1,000 and, and, and take a chance at winning. Uh, and, and then, yeah, I think, you know, the Canadian toughness showed through in, in the last 250 when, when the Russians were charging and the Brits were charging uh, and, and they held on for, for a medal. Women are carrying Team Canada's medal hopes this year. Why do you think that is, Scott? Uh, I mean, I think it's good to see them putting together some really competitive proofs. Uh, it was great to see the medal, the, the, the pair win a medal, and, and I think the eight has a really good chance. Um, and so, yeah, I, I think it's, you know, rather than focus on, um, you know, some, some of the men's struggles, uh, I think it's really good to celebrate what the women, what the women are doing. All right, well, let's talk about the men. Canadians Colin McCabe and Kai Langerfeld just missed the podium, coming in fourth place. Your thoughts on that? You know, similarly, I, I think those guys race really well. Uh, they've been together as a pair for a couple of years now and, and kind of outside of that, that top echelon of pairs. Um, somewhat lucky to get into the final uh, with, with a bit of a misstep in the Dutch pair, but, hey, it's a 2,000-meter race, and, and those guys crossed the finish line in, in third in the semifinal and, and, and qualified for the final. And then, you know, in, in, that, in the final, they, they, I think they had their best race as, as a pair. Um, and and really broke into that top that top echelon that that's competing for keep competing for medals. So, um, you know, to have them just outside the just outside of medal, uh, I think is a really really good 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 race for for Kai and Kong. What do you say to Olympians who just don't get where they dreamed of being? To be proud of the journey, to be proud of the, the daily grind that, that got you there. You know, in the end, those are the life lessons. Those are the, the, the character building moments or, or years uh, that, that get you there. And yeah, the, the medal is, uh, is the goal at the end of the tunnel. Uh, but sometimes that doesn't happen. Um, you know, I, I raced in three Olympics and we won a medal in one, luckily. Uh, and, you know, but, in, but in Athens and London, it, it didn't work out and we were fifth and, and, and sixth. So I think it's more, yeah, the medal is the goal. And that's what everyone focuses on, you know, our medal count. And, and that's it's important. That's that's the goal. But, um, you know, it's that 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 life lived and the, the daily pursuit of, of perfection or the daily pursuit of, of excellence that that really is, is what individuals learn, you know, from from pursuing the Olympics. Scott, thanks so much for taking the time to speak with us. Scott Franson is the head coach of the UC Berkeley men's rowing team and an Olympic champ himself.